here and this video comes to you via Up Houses and Trees where I blog about sustainable design, sustainable living, sustainable everything. If you're interested in eco-conscious design and decor as well as green living tips, head on over to Up Houses and Trees and sign up for my monthly newsletter and I will also send you my free list of the eight best places to buy eco-conscious decor online. Let's be tree huggers together. In this video I have Two things going on. The first is that I wanted to show you some eco-conscious, easy, simple, minimalist fall decor ideas. I have three different places in my house um, with some different DIYs that I've done, combined with some things from nature, combined with some things that I already have, like antique things and vintage things. So I just wanted to give you an idea of how to create really simple, fall decor. And then this video is also part of the fall vignette challenge given by Erin from The Collection Vintage and Michelle from Comfy Cozy Living. I've linked to both of their channels in the description below. They also are fans of vintage and antique items and sort of quirky, cool, unique home decor items. So I never take part in challenges. Um, I like to think that I'm going to, you know, I'll see someone put out a challenge or uh, you know make this video or this sort of blog post and I'll be like yeah I should totally do that just kind of flow with my own sort of schedule you know these things take time or at least you have to do them at a specific time in order to have things ready for the challenge um, but this time I was like I am doing this and I've done it pretty proud of myself we begin in the living room one of my favorite places in my home my fireplace with our barn beam mantle. One of the things I love about this living room is that it's got so much natural light from the windows and it's got these really high ceilings. And at the moment, the walls are really light and we have no artwork above the fireplace because I'm just waiting for like that perfect piece. I'm just enjoying just the simplicity of it. So yeah, I wanted to keep this really minimal. So all I have here is a, a shed deer antler that uh, we found out in the forest on our land, um, a pine cone, and then yeah, this little book page pumpkin that I made a couple of falls ago. And so I actually have a post on my blog that shows you how to make one of those as well. Um, so I'll link to that down below. Not necessarily part of the vignette, but also on the mantle, I have this beautiful planter with some rosemary cuttings. I'm gonna try and propagate them. So I feel like that's a pretty fallish thing as well, um, propagating herbs. Because where I live, things like rosemary or like lavender, they're not gonna survive the winter. So I'm hoping to root these and replant them. Now here we are in the music room. You can see by the keyboard and the guitar. And here is my other fall decor DIY vignette. So this one here, the guideline I guess, um, given in the challenge was that it needed to have orange. So I decided to put in some orange books and actually technically the guitar too. Um, but I originally, when I heard that it needed to be something orange, I was like, oh, I don't have anything orange. Like what, what should I do for that? And then I was walking uh, down our basement stairs and I have a whole bunch of books like lining the kind of shelf up in there. And I was like, orange books. So if you watched any of my videos or if you read my blog, um, then you know that decorating with books is not unusual for me. They just add such like a warm, like vintage uh, feel. And they just have so much character. So I have a couple or three books down at the bottom. This is just a piece of driftwood here that I got in the mountains. A piece of a uh, birch branch that uh, Devin cut for me that I've used just all over the house in different applications. I just got a little acorn up here that my daughter collected. And then up here at the top, this is my sort of DIY. Oh, right, and then I have another piece of driftwood right there. But here, this is my DIY that I created. So I just did a leaf rubbing and then I put it in this picture frame actually over top of, if you look close, you can see behind the lines of, it's like an old architectural drawing. It just gives like a cool vintage sort of feel with the older colored paper behind it. This was really easy to make. It's actually a cucumber leaf. So I got a cucumber leaf, I put it face down on a piece of paper and then put another piece of paper over top, took a black crayon and then just gently rubbed 
until I got the pattern that I liked and I tried it a few different times with a few different leaves. If you want it to be a little bit more blurry, like how this one is around the edges and or blended kind of in the leaf itself, then you just take a dry rag and then you just blend it as needed. In case you don't have time to or don't want to do it on your own or you just really like this one, I'll scan this rubbing and put a link to it below so you actually can just do a printout of this and you can put it up in your house if you feel like it. Okay, now we are in my guest room, which if you've watched my previous Our House in the Trees videos, uh, you know was just a complete disaster up until recently. It's now much better. I'm going to be sharing that with you in a video coming up. But for now, I'm just going to share this one small area. So I decided to create a fall decor vignette on this like beautiful old chest that I got in an antique mall um, that's yeah sitting on a black bed sheet right now because it came in from outside. So if you watched my uh, video about my antique home decor, you would have seen this, this guy here sitting outside. But I decided to bring it inside because it's just so beautiful. It's perfect for the guest room. I'm gonna store things inside of it. The fall part of this little uh, situation we got here, I made this printout, which you can actually download if you visit the link in the description below. I just wanted something really simple. Um, really kind of minimalist. Anyone who thinks fallen leaves are dead has never watched them dancing on a windy day. And for those of you who don't know, I actually am a dancer and a dance teacher. So then I stuck it in this beautiful old typewriter that I have. And I know obviously not everybody's just gonna have an old typewriter laying around, but you could frame this, you could stick it into a bulletin board, you could cut it out and glue it to something. There's tons of different things that you could do. I just went out into our yard and I grabbed this branch with these red leaves on it and kind of just tucked it back there and then I also added in this picture of my grandma sitting in a forest um, in what looks like fall because you can see the trees in the background have uh, no leaves on them. I think that there's like leaves on the ground right there so I just thought it was absolutely perfect and I just stuck it to an old book page and I don't know if you can see it's actually a page from the Silmarillion because you know why not I have a whole bunch of like books that I use for crafts and that was just one of them because I did a craft over Christmas from the Silmarillion so I just took a page um, out of it as well and stuck it behind there because I thought it kind of gave it more of a vintage sort of vibe <laughs> Before you go, let me just tell you about two things that I have over on of houses and trees that I would love for you to go and check out. The first is my sustainable products section, which is under construction, but I'm going to keep adding things to it. Um, if you ever find yourself thinking, I really want this, but I wish that there was something that was more eco-conscious or sustainable that I could get in place of that thing, um, I would definitely suggest checking this section out. And then the second thing is that I also now have eDesign. Um, if you're wondering what eDesign is, you should just head over to uphousesandtrees.com slash eDesign. I'll explain it all there. This is for those of you who need that extra help with finding sustainable decor products and items for your home uh, to create, you know, a healthy, beautiful, eco-conscious space. If you are like, I want that, but I don't know how to get it, then that's what I'm here for. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. My favorite places. Favorite? Oh my god. Why didn't I just look what it's called?